date, the 17th of November, and what it's significant for. It's time for our celebration day. Uh, what's your favourite spot for a walk in Norfolk, the coast at Cromer, through the grounds at Sandringham, winding along the Wensum behind Norwich Cathedral? Well, whichever one you like, today is the perfect day to reacquaint yourself with a nice long walk in the county because it's Take a Hike Day. Uh, and helping me celebrate that is Rebecca Wheatley from Nordic Walking Norfolk. Hello, Rebecca. Thanks for joining us. Hello there. Thank you very much for having me on. Take a hike day. And we mean that in the politest possible terms when we get you on the radio and say take a hike. It's, a, it, I, it's something I think we all rediscovered a, a, a taste for during lockdown and that, that very important daily exercise. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, walking is just such a brilliant feel-good exercise. It's something that you can do on your own. It's something that you can do with family and friends. And definitely it's something that so many of us enjoy. I mean, it can be done any time, any place. You can get out from your back doorstep and just enjoy what's around you. Or you can make a day of it and go out on an exploration to somewhere new. And particularly um, as the lights are getting, uh, nights are drawing in um, and we go into winter time at the moment, and the change in season is something that a lot of us are particularly enjoying with the colours out there. I mean, the oranges, the yellows, the reds of the leaves at the moment are quite fantastic. So definitely walking or hiking promotes a feeling of well-being, mental calm, and it's just uh, something that we can all do. Yeah, I was driving along a bit of the A47 yesterday and it really stood out just how what different colours there were on the, on the trees and the, the, the bushes by the side of the road. Yeah, you, you're right. Get, getting out and walking in it is even better. Now, Nordic walking, for, for those that don't know, this is the walking that involves the, the, the two sticks, isn't it? Absolutely. So um, Nordic walking is an enhancement of walking, but actually it makes it doubly effective because we have the poles or the sticks and a particular clever technique that literally will turn your walk into a workout. Now, if I could just talk about the poles for a moment, because they do get talked about a lot and they often get mistaken for lots of different types of poles out there, particularly trekking poles. So if you think about having um, poles attached to your hands, a lot of people think that we put the poles out in front of us when we're Nordic walking um, and so you've got these two poles vertically in front of you and you're walking along as if you've got two walking sticks out in front of you which is absolutely not what we do not what we do when we were out with our Nordic poles um, if you turn the clock back to where it was all invented it was originally used by um, invented by elite cross-country skiers as a way to stay in shape throughout the summer months so the poles are planted behind you so imagine needing to push, you, push yourself across the snow and you sort of get my drift um, so this engages the upper body and the core and it makes you feel light on your feet as you're pushing into your poles and, and we definitely call this our Nordic va-va-boom. You feel like you're <laughs> flying along and at one with the poles. Um, it has four major advantages by using the poles correctly. You're using 90% of your major muscles so the upper body definitely gets toned alongside your legs. You're burning 40% more calories which we all totally love. So generally in a 60 minute moderate paced Nordic walk, you're going to burn about 400 calories. It takes the pressure off the knees and joints. Um, and for me, as an ex long distance runner and a marathon runner, that's why I took it up because I still wanted the buzz of, that, that I got from running, but I wanted more than just going out on on, on, a, on an everyday walk. Um, and definitely, I've had no knee injuries since, and that was five years ago that I set up my business. Oh, wow. Well, I'm Rebecca, I'm, with you. I'm glad you've come on to explain it because I've seen people do Nordic walking before and I, I, I've obviously never fully understood it because I, I have never understood why, why would you not just go for a walk? What, what sort of difference do the, the poles actually make? And you've just explained it to me in a way that I've never had it explained to me before there. I understand now what, what, why it's different and why it's beneficial. Fantastic. Oh, that's what I always do on a taster session and a learned Nordic walk course. I actually start with everybody with the poles out in front of them and I get them to walk literally for 30 seconds with me. And, 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 and I say, this is not what you're going to be doing in this session. This is not Nordic walking. And then I take them through what Nordic walking is. And then we go back to that beginning move where we've got the poles out in front and people are going, oh, my goodness, you know, I can't I can't get that same push with my poles out in front of me. So that is it, it's something that loads of people get mistaken um, and, and, and get confused with. And, yeah, and the I, final thing, see. really, I have to say about, about Nordic walking is, and I do warn people of this when they come and join a Nordic walking group and a session, is it is addictive. <laughs> <laughs> the more you do of it, the better you feel about it. And, 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 and then the, the fitter you feel, the more your stamina improves and then the more you want to do. So, you know, I've got about 150 members of Nordic Norfolk Nordic walking. And I tell you what, people just love it. They can't get enough. I've got people 
people who walk with me, not just two times a week, but three or four times a week. Um, you know, we're exercising in the fresh air. It's a feeling of fitness and well-being that you get from working in a group. It does definitely turn your work into, uh, your walk into a workout. And we're out in all weathers. We motivate well, you sound, each other. Rebecca, you sound, you sound so bright and breezy for before 8 o'clock in the morning. That, that is the best advert for it. Good, good luck with it. Have a great day. We're heading towards the news now. That's Rebecca Wheatley from Nordic Walking Norfolk. Uh, you can look her up on, online if you want to, to know more about that and get involved because uh, she's uh, very enthusiastic about it, isn't she? And why not? And take a hike day. All the benefits. I mean, there's always a benefit of getting out there and, and walking however you do it, getting some fresh air and a bit of exercise, isn't there? But if you want to take it as seriously and really make it a proper workout, maybe uh, have a Nordic walk on today's Take a Hike Day. Thanks to Rebecca for joining us. 